Hey folks, it's Ben. I'm back here with my tiller. I uh, got a good idea off the internet, uh, previously credited in my other video. Maybe we should just switch it to a more modern uh, ignition system. Well, I need a parts mower that has just a coil that heats off the flywheel. And of course, I just garbage picked this Poolin Pro that I thought had an oil leak. Well, it's not really as much an oil leak as it is an oil hole. So I kind of was flipping it on side saying, I wonder what's wrong with this thing. And as you can tell, a big hole in it. It's not to say that we can't patch that hole and get the mower going again, but I have like 15 mowers. I don't need another mower, uh, especially one that's new and full of good parts. So uh, what I'm going to do, or try to do, since this is definitely a Briggs & Stratton engine, probably has its awesome coil and all that tasty stuff I could use. So what we're gonna do is take the cover off this thing See if we can pull the coil out and then put it on my probably early 60s tiller motor. Taking the top off, I'm guessing the three top bolts here would be our first step. So take these out. What it seems to be is exactly like every other mower out there. The coil and a spark plug wire. Now a comment on my last video said that the new systems ground to off and the old system ground to on. That's good to know. Um, thank you for the comment, and maybe I'll link you here. But anyway, uh, so I should be able to just take this off and plug it onto my old mower. That's a nice new plug, I wish I could steal it. Now there is a plug on the side, and this is for the safety. It's again, they ground them out to ground to shut the mower off by shutting the spark off. In this case, uh, my other mower typically uses the throttle, so Less of an issue, there we go. So here's the coil, probably works. So let's take it over to the other machine, see what we can do with it. We have this coil on there now. It actually came from another mower that uh, I just had on the bench for disassembly and I like to take the pistons out and whatever. Um, so I don't know if it worked or not. It doesn't in my application, so there's that. But uh, I had already cut the wires for the old coil so this was the coil I tried off the other mower. It didn't uh, work very well or at all. Here's a coil that was on it. Now apparently it's got this wire here that went to ground and then this wire here which went to the points. Um, it's actually quite loose in the, the cable there. So uh, if I ever need to restore it, it, I've got enough pigtail hopefully to tie to it. But hopefully I don't because this will work great. So we got our new coil and uh, I'm guessing that should be fine. And that will lean up and actually go to our hole. So yeah, let's try it this way. It won't quite, yeah, I noticed that on the other one. Um, one hole fits fine, but it's used to, it looks like it might be a slightly bigger um, flywheel than this one provides. But for now, in testing purposes, we'll get it with one and we'll see how it goes from there. I guess if we needed to, we could epoxy it or come up with some sort of mounting system that would work for it. Okay, let me just slap the recoil on it and see how we do. All right, so after being frustrated with kind of what's going on, maybe my ground isn't good, you know, against a, a bolter, and that appears to be the issue. Uh, if I put this thing right up in against the hole and press it kind of firmly, not always, but uh, I am getting spark out of it. It seems to really want to be in there. And like right now I'm not, but I have been getting spark. So the coil system is working. And I'm getting a moderate amount of ignition, oh, not anymore. But I have some faith that it is actually working because it, it worked a little bit there. And trying to get it on film is just impossible. There it is. 
So it's sparking, so that's good. I just gotta get the spark on the proper head. I mean, that'll probably fit in there, but it's threads are so tall, it's not gonna seat well. So um, let me pull this one out, close them up. Not that this is that much smaller. That's a nice tight fit. Put that right in the hole. This is the LM, or RJ I should say, 19. I wonder if there's an issue with the different types of coils and <laughs> my non-attached pull does not like to be at an angle, but uh, I'll tell you if it works here in a sec. Okay, so um, I've just double checked the tightness of the one screw I have holding the coil on and it's nice and very tight at this point. I also restored the air dam here. Otherwise, wind just kind of will whirlpool around here. This I'm imagining cuts it up pushes it through the head area there at provides cooling because if okay so pull choke Give it a pull take a break from yanking on the thing but maybe that's what it needed I gotta take apart the top I hear a clanking gotta make sure my coil is so clear but look at that a modern ignition system on an old girl gets rid of the points and the condenser completely so that's fantastic um, used to be when I put the throat all the way down it would turn off it doesn't do that anymore so clearly it was grounding it to kill or opening it or whatever to kill and maybe that was a problem is there something in the throttle area but anyway awesome so i win technically if i can get started again which it should just go right okay so if you have any questions ask them because i barely know it myself but i can kind of reflect on what i did if you needed to or rewind the video uh post them subscribe to my channel red barn homestead if you have any questions Otherwise, you guys have a good day.